bringing you the newsiest news today with reporter Stuart Willows, cameraman Mahogany Jones, and your anchor Michael Sequoia. This is Action Team 6 News. Good evening, I'm Michael Sequoia. Breaking news, there's been much controversy over a birch tree that once stood outside South Harrison High School. Nobody knows why the tree was cut down, and its location is also unknown. Our reporter, Stuart Willows, is out in the field trying to track down answers. Let's go to Stuart Willows. Oh, really? Huh? Okay. Wait, we are? Oh, well, why didn't you tell me? Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Sequoia. Uh, this is Stuart Willows here from Action Team 6 News. I'm here on the scene of, of the crime. Behind me, you see the stump of the mysterious South Harrison birch tree. Its fate is shrouded in deep mystery. The likes of which have never been seen before. Me and my associate, Mahogany Jones, aka the cameraman, interviewed some people earlier today about the mystery behind it. Here are those interviews. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I have a moment of your time? Yes, you can. Well, do you remember anything about the famous South Harrison birch tree? Yes, actually, I do. I have many fond memories walking past it. wonder what ever happened to it. Well, I don't know, but Action Team 6 is on the case. Don't worry. There's one now! Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, hello, person I've never met before. I'm Stuart Willis from Action Team 6. World-renowned world reporter. <laughs> Have you heard anything about that famous South Harrison uh, birch tree? The famous tree? The one shouted in mystery? Good times. Good times. No one really knows what happened to it. What was it? Murder? Oh, I th always thought it died of natural causes, but maybe the janitors would know something about that. You didn't hear it from me. Thank you for that tip, sir. Wait, there he is! Sir! Can I have a moment of your time? Sure, what can I do for you? Word is the janitorial staff knows something about the disappearing birch tree. What happened? We was told to cut it down a few months ago. It was a contract kill? The plot thickens. Burn. Well, there's only one thing we can do, Mahogany. That's right. Boys and girls, take it to the top. We're going to talk to Big E himself. Thank you for being with us on such a short time, Mr. Easton. Oh, n not a problem. What do you need to ask me? <laughs> well, me and my associates at uh, Action Team 6 are doing a special cover on the missing tree. Along the way, we interviewed one of your janitorial staff. He said that you were in charge of contracting that kill. Yes, yes I was. What? Why? How could you do something to this innocent tree? Well, actually, it was dying of natural causes. Uh, we decided to cut it down so it wouldn't eventually fall on someone. Uh. Well, that makes sense. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. The mystery behind that glorious birch tree. The birch tree that has been a beacon for learning and higher education. Not only did that tree supply shade to students on the hottest days, but it also provided them the love and compassion that all of us so deeply desire. It was great to everyone. A trusted friend, a compassionate colleague, and a family for those who have none. The birch tree inspired not only the students, but also the community. It taught us valuable life lessons like integrity, responsibility, and photosynthesis. Let us now take a moment of silence to remember the one who once was, but will always be in our hearts. Thank you. I'm Michael Sequoia, here for Action Team 6 News, signing off. Good night.